Christmas break just ended, winter break just ended for all you guys. This is big news to wrestlers because this means that now every single weight class goes up two pounds. Now this changes a lot of things. This can change your diet. This can change how you cut weight, how much weight you cut. It affects your wrestling in different ways. But before I get into that, my last video, I asked you guys if you like the idea of me making a Patreon so you guys can directly support me. And you guys said yes, you guys like my video. So I made a Patreon. This is my Patreon. The link's down below in the description. If you guys want to support me, it means a ton. I'm at such a beginner level in my YouTube channel. I'm at the very, very beginning. Every single dollar that you guys donate helps me grow, helps me so much. You guys have no clue. You guys have no idea how, how limited my time is. I didn't get to make a video yesterday because I had to work at night. I have to work at night again today, but I made like, I made the time. Yeah, I have to work a ton. And every dollar that you guys donate, every time you guys like a video, every time you guys share, every time you guys get my name out there, it supports me so much. You have no clue. There's a bunch of tiers for uh, people who donate. You can donate as little as a dollar all the way, I think up to like $50. Also, if you want to if you want to be featured on my match review, then instead of sending him to my email, I want you guys to post it on my subreddit, okay? You can find my subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash rassle, W-R-A-S-T-L-E. <clears throat> if you don't know what Reddit is, it's a website where you guys can post memes, you guys can post videos for my match review, can post news articles, funny stories, really anything you want. You guys can upvote and downvote it. The highest upvoted match that week will get featured on match review. So you guys decide who gets to get picked for match review. If you yourself get picked for match review, right? Everybody has the same option. You can be a boy or a girl in elementary school or, or a senior in college, I don't care. I'll review your match. But getting into this two pound allowance, okay? How does this change the way you cut weight? How does this change the way you eat? Like what does this do to you? Now I know a lot of people have probably been thinking all season, oh, I'm just gonna wrestle a weight class up and then after winter break, when we get the two pound allowance, then I'm just gonna drop down to the lower weight class and I'll never have to even touch the scratch weight. If you plan on wrestling in the state tournament, you have to make the scratch weight. That means if you plan on wrestling the 138 pound weight class, you have to weigh in at 138 pounds or less at least once during the season. There are no ifs, ands, or buts. You will not be allowed to wrestle Another team will call you out and they will make sure that you can because because coaches keep track of every single way in. So I feel the need to reiterate it. If you're cutting weight, if you're one of those guys that have to cut 10, 15, 17 pounds, like a ridiculous amount of weight, this extra two pounds means so much to you. This extra two pounds is two pounds of water that you don't have to suck. Two pounds of water that you don't have to spit. Do not let this change the things that you're doing right, okay? This does not mean that you can eat whatever you want for a longer period of time because it takes less time to cut the weight that you need to get, right? I used to do this. I used to weigh in for the second day and then I would binge eat like an animal until two days before I had to wrestle. I would stop eating, stop drinking water, run with trash bags, I'd go the whole nine yards just to get down to my weight when I didn't even realize the act of binge eating and the act of yo-yoing my weight like that made me have to cut more weight. If you guys don't already know, I feel the need to reiterate this. Water is the last thing that you cut out of your diet, okay? You can only go three days without water. You can go 28 days without food, uh, if I remember correctly. Point being, you can go much longer without food than you can without water. So water is the last thing that you have to cut out. Get your diet right. Get your diet in order so that the days that you have to cut out food, it's not that much food and you don't have to cut out as much water. Before the season starts, you weigh 175. I'm gonna use myself for an example. Let's say I weigh between 173 and 175. Before the season, I wanted to wrestle 152. What do I do? Before the season, I was eating like an animal. I was eating chips, I was eating cereal, I was eating waffles, pancakes, a whole bunch of crap. You need to get your diet in order. You need to find your base weight and then you can decide your weight class. Going from 174, eating like an animal. When I went to the keto diet, I would easily lose 10, 11, 12 pounds just in like bloating, you know what I mean? I like, I'd feel less bloated. I would be able to get to like 163, 164, just walking around feeling normal, right? What you have to do is you have to find a high fat, high protein, low carb diet, okay? And you have to find one that fits your needs. It has to be the lowest amount of calories that you can intake 
while still getting through a practice, while still feeling healthy enough to get through a practice, while not feeling sleepy and tired. This helps you get to your base weight. It should be within five and 10 pounds of your, uh, of your weight class, you know what I mean? 10 pounds is really, really pushing it. Like really, really, really pushing it. The less weight you have to cut, the better. You wanna cut out all other, all liquids other than like strictly water because this is the easiest thing to lose. When you start cutting out water, your calorie intake must be significantly dropped. All right, so when you decide to start cutting out your water, you have to cut out your calories too because you don't wanna be taking in more food if you're not taking in water. Because water is much, much more important that you, it's much more important that you use that weight you would have taken in as food as water because you need water much more. It's much more vital to your existence. Let's say it's Wednesday. I, I'm at my base weight, right? In the morning, I piss and shit. I step on the scale. I weigh 161. I have to get down to 152 by Saturday. That day, that day, in my opinion, I would eat one egg and then I would go through the whole day. I would go through the whole day, find my weight. On, an, on average, after a wrestling practice, I would lose between four and six pounds, okay? That's of me not drinking water, me just like white knuckling it the whole day, being super thirsty. I haven't ran or anything extra to cut weight. I haven't ran with trash bags. I'm not wrestling with trash bags. Maybe I wrestle with like a crew neck or something, but I'm not doing anything extreme at this point. I'm just restricting my diet. After practice, I weigh myself. I see how much weight I've lost. If I'm happy with that amount, if like it's two days before and it looks like I'm only six pounds away, right, from being 11 pounds away, I lost five pounds that day, then I'm gonna allow myself to drink like two bottles of water. I believe that in the next three days, I can make that up. And some of you who lose less weight are gonna have to drink less water, right? Some of you guys may only be able to drink one bottle of water throughout the day. Maybe some of you guys can drink two bottles of water throughout the day. Three, you know what I mean? It changes throughout the weight. The less you weigh, the less you can drink, the less you can eat, and the smaller your margins are. So to reiterate, this two pound allowance does not mean that you can yo-yo your diet. This does not mean you can binge eat. This does not mean that you can completely disregard what you eat. You can't eat Skittles, you can't eat Snickers, you can't eat candy, Twizzlers, Ho-Hos, Twinkies, none of that shit. Cereal, none of that shit. You have to be very strict about your diet if you wanna perform at peak performance. Water is the last thing you cut out of your diet, all right? Water is the absolute last thing that you cut out of your diet. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, support me on Patreon, support me on Reddit, submit your match reviews to Reddit, get my name out there, smash the like button. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.